Okay, so we will move on to the SI joint fusion, the posterior approach with the cortical allograft, and this is going to be done by Dr. David. So it looks like he's dressed and ready, locked and loaded. Dr. David. Yeah, we are uh, set to go here. Can you hear me well there, Doug? Sure can. Awesome. So I'm gonna kind of brief overview all the instruments they're gonna be using here. So you get a good understanding because they're gonna be seeing that under extra guidance and you're like, well, what is that? Uh, we have a K-pin here, we have a sharp side to it, and also a blunt side. There's a sharp side there, and then the blunt side, depending on how fast you're getting in, depending on how well, how open that joint is. Here's the cannula. You notice the tines, we're calling these the tines here, these ends here. You look for that under x-ray guidance, the different ends, top tine, bottom tine, and we'll look at that under barrel view and, and uh, inlet outlet view, which uh, Doug uh, described so well. So if you also see and look at the, uh, the sides of the uh, cannula itself, it has the ilium side, nice and longer there, and the hard stop for the sacrum side. So those are important to obviously put that the right orientation to get into the joint quite easily. Uh, what goes into that is the dilator. If you look at, at the top of the cannula, you see that it is keyed, so it's hard to not put it in, the, in there correctly, or to put in correct. So you can see that it nicely fits into the area. Beside that is the decorticator, which basically goes into there as well, helps produce space for our allograft inserter here. Of course, we're looking at that itself. That is a nice metal allograft. We're using that for demo purposes, but it looks more like that and leaves space for the uh, DBM, the demineralized bone matrix that was packed in there before the allograft is put in, okay? As you can see, the inserter here is then loaded up using, going through the actual keyed cannula and bringing that into the mid portion of the sacroiliac joint in a posterior approach. And of course, Dr. Beal will go over the posterior lateral and also the lateral approach shortly after this. Okay, let's uh, now move to the cadaver and uh, we have a AP view here. If you guys can see that on your uh, monitors there, picture there. Can you guys see the uh, monitor? Excellent. Yes. So, picture here. Picture here. It's kind of picture there. Uh, anatomic ma mapping as a PSIS. We're looking at the anterior portion of the joint. Picture. Picture there. All the way along here. And we're going to line up that joint in a more contralateral oblique uh, view. Let's go oblique towards you, approximately 525 degrees. Picture there, excellent, picture here. So for this procedure itself, we're looking at the mid third portion of the joint, picture there. There, there, okay. And then we're coming in with the, with the K pin or K wire. I'm using the actual tines to help get the actual width of the cut we're gonna make in that region because that has to incorporate the cannula that we're gonna put in there shortly thereafter, okay? So let me just put in a actual incision there. And go a little bit beyond it. And picture there. Picture there. And we're having a, 
we want to be inside that helium PSIS. So we're doing a medial to lateral type of approach to get into that joint. Picture that. Picture that. And I'll seat that K wire picture there. And always go to a lateral view and take a look and see where we're at and where we're oriented. Yes, please. It's a little distance away. Just a little bit, sure. Picture that. <coughs> Picture that. Picture that. Picture there. All right, nice. And obviously, we're not wanting to go beyond that sacral cortical line there. And you see on the lateral x-ray there, OK? There, we use the uh, cannula itself with the dilator installed. We're using the ilium side towards me, in this case, because we're doing the left side. It is keyed, K-wire inserted within it itself. You're lightly kind of orientating that dilator cannula piece itself. Picture there. To help let us do its job. Picture. 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 So we're trying to aim towards that central portion of the joint, OK? Uh, we're trying to get it there to provide the allograft in that region, picture, to help provide that fusion, that central portion of the joint. And you know, Pain Tech has done a nice uh, biomechanical study showing that putting the allograft in this area will help provide good biomechanical advantage to getting it in that region and providing good purchase and function from the joint. Picture. Okay. Picture. Coming along nicely. Switch hands a little bit. Bring it a little bit. Up a little bit. Picture. Picture. And I feel pretty safe with this because the uh, cannula itself has that safeguard and hard stop for the ilium and sacral side. Let me back up that K wire a little bit. Okay. That out a little bit. Be on the safe side. You'd want to make sure that K wire is not just popping through there. Picture there. Picture there. Yeah. In. Let's get to let's pop that out. Picture there. Picture there. Picture. 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 There we go. Okay. 
At that point, you're going to find that the dilator may be kind of fixated in there, and we use the helper bar to kind of pry it up, and now it's loose and now free to be removed. At this point, using the decorticator, again, this is keyed. Some picture there, first of all. And then we'll go to AP view, back to AP. And this, at this point, we're gonna, those tines that we were talking about earlier, we're not making sure that we can see those in the cranial tilt and caudal tilt or inlet outlet views. So we are making sure we're staying within the joint itself. Let's go oblique towards you though, 25 degrees. Picture there. Um, yeah. Other way, towards me. There you go, thank you, picture. Okay, let's go cranial tilt. Let's go down the barrel first of all. Right down the barrel, down the barrel of the cannula there. Picture there. Okay, let's let's go north a little bit. Picture there. Yeah, Meg out. Okay. And let's go cranial tilt. Get there, stop there. Picture. And back toward, oblique towards me a little bit. Just trying to basically get right down the cannula. Take a look here. All right, so I'm live. Towards me, towards you, sorry. There we go. And then let's go uh, caudal tilt, cranial tilt. There we go. Picture there. So you can see the tines. Picture there. Let's go north. Um, open up the uh, cranial tilt. Live. So you can see the tine there, it's in line with the joint there superiorly. The inferior tine is also in line with the joint inferiorly there. Okay, and that's the key view you want to take, that barrel view there. Okay, thanks very much. Now we can go back to the lateral view and then we'll use the decorticator to help provide area and maybe some last minute uh, adjustments before putting the allograft inserter in, okay? The decorticator has a nice lever that air, arm, helps to pull and retract the uh, decorticator out. I picture that. Okay, mag times one. And let's go a little south, please. Thank you so much. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. Picture there. Picture there. Nice. Pulling in there nicely. And getting it back into that central portion of the joint. Okay. And just flip the lever and save that. And we're gonna switch it over to the of the, the Perfect. Well, I say that view because as they remove that decorticator, you may have some movement of the cannula, and we're going to need to get that that uh, allograft uh, inserter with now loaded uh, back into that same spot. And picture there. Wonderful. But it didn't move very much at all. Picture there. Picture there. 
just gonna fully putting that in picture. Picture. And you can see the allograph, you can see it a little translucent there, but coming in nicely. Some minor adjustments there to get into the same spot where I decorticated. Picture there. This point, pulling that inserter out, pulling out the cannula. Let's get an AP view. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let's get a lateral while we're there. Thanks. Sure. It could have got a little bit deeper there. But you can see the uh, within the SI joint there itself. Okay, let's go back to AP. AP. Yeah. Picture there. There it is. Picture there. There. Hope I can't find, see it there. Picture there. And it's go oblique towards you. So you see it, you'll come across the joint itself. Picture there. 25 degrees. There it is. And so at the bottom of S2, whenever they get at the bottom of the SI joint, it flares lateral, and that's what you're seeing there. That's why yeah, it looks like it. it was in the joint, but it looks like it's flaring lateral. That goes to the bottom of S2. The inferior portion of the joint flares lateral at the very bottom. So nicely done, Dr. David. Questions or comments? Yeah. Uh, uh, commonly in orthopedics, we rely primarily uh, on autograft uh, harvested at the time of spine surgery or reconstructive surgery. And in revision circumstances, we augment uh, with uh, either bone graft substitutes or uh, bone stimulating protein. Uh, do you have any experience uh, with either of those or both? So yeah, so the graft that will need to be placed in this, well, you can use DBM, DBX, whatever. I use combination of uh, synthetic and biological nanofuse. Um, and you just fill the graft. It has a big wide graft window. Um, so some of the screws that we'll see, we'll show you the posterolateral and the lateral approach in rapid sequence. These are self-augering, and they take the, the uh, bone graft from the ilium. And uh, this is God's best bone graft ever is the, is the cancellous bone from the ilium. So these we will uh, use graft, but the screws that are self-auger, we don't. All right, guys, we're going to transition to the posterolateral, and then we'll do the lateral okay. approach, and that will almost be it.